All right, this is the third time. <laughs> uh, okay, so it is recording now. All right, I've, I was having issues of, of this recording, but um, as you guys know, it's the Coffee King. I do have another review for you guys. I know it's been about three days since my last review that I dropped. Um, as you guys know, we've been pretty busy, me and my wife, as far as running this business that we own. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's stressful, but, you know... It is what it is right now. I mean, we're just now getting established. We're getting out there. So, uh, yeah. Progress, baby. Progress. It's going to take some time. You're going to lose some sleep. You're going to lose energy. We're already there. <laughs> but today, I have something for you guys. And I'm going to try to knock out a review at least once a week. Um, you know, if I can do two, that would be awesome. But <clears throat> today, we're going to be getting into... And this, this was a, um, someone had, uh, requested that I tried this. So I'm going to find whoever that is and I'm going to post them after this clip. Thank you so much for requesting this coffee to me. Um, I'm super excited to get into it, but it's Stumptown. Coffee Roasters, Holler Mountain. This is organic coffee, creamy, and caramel. Whole bean. We got whole bean. As you guys know, if I can find the whole bean in the coffee that uh, somebody asked me to review, I'm going to get it because whole bean tastes a lot better than the ground coffee does. There it is. Stump Town, Holler Mountain, baby. I'm super excited to get into this. Coffee Roasters. Holler Mountain is one of our signature blends that's been with us since the beginning. Holler Mountain is a hometown favorite, a versatile and full body blend. Holler Mountain doses out a bright burst of citrus that pairs perfectly with creamy notes of caramel and hazelnut. Yeah. Hazelnut, Ugh. caramel, Ugh. I don't know how this is going to taste, man. As you guys know, I'm not really a big caramel and hazelnut person, but I do this for you guys. If you request it, I do it for you guys. Um, anyways, let's get into this. I think this is a medium roast, I believe. I don't know. I believe it's a medium roast, so let's get into it. Almost three days. I completely forgot. I got to tell you guys how this smells. I've opened it already. So. I, got, I mean. I smell the coffee. I don't really. I don't really smell caramel. Hazelnut. Anything like that. So it's hard telling how this is going to taste. Is this going to taste. Have a caramel taste. A hazelnut taste. Or is it just going to taste like regular coffee. I don't know, baby, but we're about to find out. Let's get into it, baby. All right, my Coffee King family, right now, as that coffee is brewing in there, I'm going to need every single one of you guys, if you're on my YouTube side of the world, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for your boy for more videos. Um, you know, like my videos, comment on them as well. And if you guys are on my Facebook side of the world, Make sure that you guys are following or liking my page. Turn on them live notifications so you guys don't miss me, whether I go live, if I decide to, or if I drop another video. Uh, make sure that you like and um, comment, share them as well. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Facebook has been crazy lately, man. Um, I know that there's, um, there's people out there that's been losing their pages and all that because, you know, supposedly they have too many accounts. Or, um, you know, some people's having problems because you're not the only admin. Well, on my Facebook page, I don't know how much longer that's going to be there, but I'm going to rock out on there until whatever happens because I got a message just the other day or a notification stating that um, my Facebook page may be removed. Don't know why. It just said that in big letters across my screen that my Facebook may be removed. And I think it's because... You know, <clears throat> I have another account besides this one, you know, 
and I, it was my old Facebook, and then I have another one, which is my new one on here, and then I made this page and made my old one an admin as well, so I can, you know, spread the love on there as well, but I don't know, man, Facebook has been crazy, man, they've been hating a lot, so guys, make sure that you are uh, liking my page or following it, or just go to YouTube, search Coffee King Reviews, and make sure that you guys just subscribe to that channel because I'm always going to be on YouTube. Anyways, let's go get into this coffee. Let's go. All right. Not going to lie right now. Stumptown is smelling really good. All right. <clears throat> so here we are. Stumptown Mountain Holler with no cream, no sugar. You guys already know how we do. This is the first part of the review. We have a second part. If you don't know that, now you know. Let's go. No cream, no sugar, mountain holler, baby. Stump town. Ooh. Okay. Um, right off the top. I'm not going to lie, man. Like, I really don't taste caramel. I don't taste hazelnut either. But. There is a nutty flavor. There's a nutty flavor in this coffee right here. It's uh, nutty. It's got that little bit of bitterness to it. There's definitely citrus there. I can taste a hint of the citrus, but it's really smooth. Wow. Okay, this, this ain't bad at all. Okay, even though it says caramel and all that, I'm not upset that I don't taste it. Because I'm not really a big caramel fan. But as far as the hazelnut, maybe that's the nutty flavor that I'm getting from this. But it don't taste like your regular hazelnut. Hazelnut. Yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I'm getting a nutty flavor. I'm getting a citrus flavor. It's, you know, I can taste a little bit of the bitterness. It's smooth. This is a really good cup of coffee, just regular black. So, I'm going to hit that with a five all day, baby. Five all day, just regular black. Great job on that, Stump Town. Holler Mountain. Let's give a round of applause for them. Just for the regular black coffee. It's good. Five out of five. Now, for the second part of the review, you guys already know what we do. We add a little bit of that sugar to it with a little bit of half and half. So... Let's not wait any longer, guys. I'm super excited to get into this second part of the review. So let's go. Okay, so we're back. And look, just, I know this is off topic. But man, if you're in Ohio right now, and um, you guys are off work, or you guys got off work early because of the snow that we're about to be getting. Look, here in Ohio, we haven't had... <laughs> Uh, adding this snow on top of what we got right now, you're looking at about 16 inches of snow. Okay. We ain't had that much snow in years, dude, years. Um, but if you guys left work early, you know, be careful, be careful out here because it is starting to ice now. Um, sleeting, you know, ice, but enjoy this time, man. It's cold outside. Get home, make some chili. Make some, you know, make a hot meal for you and your wife or, you know, your, your family and just, you know, enjoy this time. Enjoy this weather. You just get to look outside while you're eating a hot meal or, you know, just enjoying a nice warm cup of coffee. It's, you know, it's just enjoy this time. All right. Have fun. Go outside. Play with your family. Whatever. Just because you're, you know... 30, 40 years old doesn't mean that you can't go outside and act like a kid sometimes. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but anyways, back to this review, guys. Back to the review. Um, we do have Stumptown here. This is Holler Mountain. With a little bit of that sugar booger. And a little bit of that half and half, baby. You already know. Let's go. This is the second part of the review. weird very weird okay I still get that nutty flavor but I also have that hazelnut flavor coming out as well I do not taste any caramel 
But you know, that's that's fine with me. That's fine with me. But I can taste the hazelnut a little bit. It's a hint, but it's still got that strong nutty flavor to it. You can definitely taste the roast of the coffee. Like I said, it's got a little bit of bitterness to it. It's smooth. Um, this is a rich coffee. This is a rich coffee. And I'm not talking about right out of the bag sweet. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that um, you will find notes of richness in this coffee. They were 100% correct about that. This is a really good cup, guys. Really good. Even though I can get a hint of that hazelnut, and I'm not a big fan of hazelnut, it's still a really good cup of coffee. And um, <laughs> adding the cream and sugar, I'm still going to keep it out of five. It's still a five out of five all day. This is something that I believe, you know, I enjoy it. And I believe that my wife can enjoy it too. She's not really big on the dark roast coffee like I am. But I believe that, you know, she'll enjoy this coffee. So what I'm going to do, and you guys already got this review. You guys already seen this review. Five out of five both ways. All day, every day. Strong five, really, with the cream and sugar. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this review. I'm going to jump off of here. Uh, take a couple more drinks of this. And uh, let my wife try it. See if she likes it. But um, enjoy the rest of your guys' day out here, man. Whether you guys are in Ohio or if you guys are out of, you know, don't live in Ohio. You're just ways away. You're in your own state, whatever. Um, enjoy life. You know, enjoy the time that you are here with your friends, with your family, even yourself. You know, just uh, just enjoy life at it while you can. Um, much love to everybody. Remember to love one another. Be there for one another. Be more positive, find God, and learn to love yourself more. It's the Coffee King, baby. I'm off of here. Peace.